G'day, Lockie here. So I started using a tool a couple of weeks ago and I thought, how about I cut a, just a quick video and give people an explanation. So uh, this is on external DNS. Now, external DNS is a project that lives out there under the Kubernetes incubator. And what external DNS sets out to achieve is in an ingress situation where you have an ingress controller and you're laying down services behind that ingress, um, you don't actually get an out-of-the-box experience with setting up uh, external DNS records, so your A records or, or the like in your DNS provider. So uh, external DNS, this project backs into, it supports several cloud providers hosted DNS uh, solutions, uh, and it will go and create records based on an annotation you put on a server. So this is really cool. It's the last bit of glue that you would need uh, when you set up an ingress and you start deploying services actually putting them in DNS. Um, the other alternative is to actually just put star records under, under some kind of uh, subdomain or zone. So what I want to show you how easy this is and I'm going to show you how to run this against Azure. So there's some docs here um, and if you drill down into the docs uh, in the tutorials here, what I'm going to be doing is going through the Azure tutorial. So what that's going to do is set up um, DNS records in an Azure hosted uh, DNS. So there's a, a bit of back, back work here. I actually happen to have a resource group set up and a DNS zone set up. Uh, this piece is actually creating a secret from a file that is actually deployed. So I'm using um, ACS to deploy my cluster. This file should be present on that system. You can grab it from there, but this just has some credentials, which provides the ability to actually make the change, gives you the right credentials. Okay, let me pop over here to my IDE quickly. So I'll create the secret in a minute, but before I go into that, I'll do, just show you what we're doing here. So external DNS deployment. So we're pulling um, this container and we've got a couple of args here. So we're saying the source is coming from a service. So that's a Kubernetes service record. So go and look at the services. Um, I've put a domain filter on here. This is totally optional, but all that's doing is giving me an extra safeguard that I can only deploy uh, new records using this tool to az.estrato.io. Uh, the provider, obviously I'm running it on Azure. So I want to use the Azure provider code and the resource group here. So I've actually pinned it to a specific resource group. This is also optional. And then we mount the, the credentials in there. Uh, what I'm gonna be deploying is a simple Nginx service and deployment. So here's the deployment, nothing new here, and here's the service. The only thing that this uh, external DNS uh, control loop is looking for is the existence of these annotations and based on these annotations it's going to go and create a record. So I'm asking external DNS to create an, a record called nginx.az.estrato.io. Before I actually go into the demo because I don't think it'll take too long, here's the setup of myestrato.io and I have a couple of records in here and I've been playing for this uh, with this for a while so you can see another one that's been created uh, with this heritage value here under a txt record so i do not have an nginx record at the moment is what i'm trying to illustrate so if i went to nginx.az.estrato.io i'd get an nx domain currently okay pop over to the terminal here so i have a clean acs uh, engine kubernetes cluster uh, let's just get the version so i've got a 172 cluster here i have actually have rbac off at the moment um, i do not have rbac on so just just for note there um, but I'm sure you could pin this down with RBAC. And what I should have is, I've already deployed Nginx. I deployed it in the interest of time here uh, to get the pod and the service and the service IP. So let me grab the, the service as well. So you can see that I have one pod running and I have a service with this IP address. So what I'm gonna do now is to uh, create, actually, let me go grab this thing here. So I'm going to create the secret which has my Azure credentials that the external DNS um, <clears throat> binary is going to take a look at, pick them up so that it can um, talk to the correct APIs and have the correct level of access. So I've created that secret and all I want to do now is kubectl create external DNS. kubectl get pods so I've created that external DNS deployment. 
and let me just grab the logs here all right so what do we see here so we see that it's come up um, it's showing you all the arguments the modes of operation it's running in uh, and you can configure a bunch more flags for example you could put an owner ID on the txt record or some prefixes so that you could write some more information into DNS I'm connected to the cluster so I'm connected to the Kubernetes API which is great I need to access to that to see that annotation of the service and I've seen the a record here so I've updated an a name record called nginx to this address under this zone and I've cr also created a txt record fantastic exactly what I'd hope you'd do so we can see now we have an, an A record here with an IP address we have uh, a txt record showing who created indeed created this so I should be able to go to nginx.az.estrato.io fantastic so in one fell swoop all I've done is added that annotation to a service it's not behind an ingress in in this case but you could well put it behind an ingress and now we actually have uh, an external an external DNS record uh, which kind of rounds out the whole experience I get a public IP with the load balancer um, under kubernetes I want to tie that public IP to a DNS record because obviously I'm not typing in IP addresses uh, for mass consumption there now I believe the same is true if we uh, let's go back here if I was to kubectl delete nginx the nginx deployment and service if this disappears this should reconcile so this is running in a loop it'll say that it no longer exists and that I'm going to delete this right so you get a nice rounded out experience all right so yes I'm deleting the a record I'm deleting the txt record so fantastic let's go take a look those records are now gone so that kind of rounds it out it's really that simple you just configure the provider and put annotations on services this runs in a loop it detects those annotations and goes and creates uh, the corresponding records in your cloud provider DNS so that's all I wanted to show it's a fantastic tool uh, props to the people that wrote it and uh, thanks for joining cheers